Good morning, boys and girls. This is Dr. Madison, your music teacher. <laughs> You may wonder what this is. This is called a Vuvuzula, and it was made very popular at the World Cup in South Africa. People filled the stands with these, and tens, hundreds of thousands of people blew them. Now, you have to ask yourself a question. Is the Vuvuzula, as fun as it is to play, and as loud as it is, a musical instrument? Well, that's an interesting question, because a musical instrument should be able to play a melody. And a vuvuzula can only play one note. This week and next, we're going to be building our own musical instruments from items you can find in your house. You can build a woodwind, a brass, a percussion. But I, I want to share some thoughts with you so that you are more prepared in your building. Now, you might remember when we were singing in kindergarten and we, we did... Pitter patter raindrops, and we did it in a deep voice, and a high squeaky voice, and a loud voice, and a soft voice. Those are all things that go into the making of a musical instrument. So let me remind you that bigger usually means lower. So I have here a liter and a half Coke Zero bottle, empty. This is what it sounds like if you blow on it. Mm. Now that's a fairly deep sound. Here I have a one and a quarter liter bottle. Look, much, much smaller. This sound should be what, boys and girls? Higher or lower? Now I, I have one more bottle that I haven't quite emptied yet. This is a tiny little, oh my word. 350 milliliter bottle. Let's see what this one sounds like. Higher or lower? It's a smaller bottle. So, boys and girls, you might want to build your instrument out of empty bottles. And you'll want to find a way to attach them to one another so you can move back and forth between two or three different bottles. Now, you might, with your parents' permissions, want to fill up a glass. This is a regular old uh, drinking glass from our cabinet. And no, I didn't ask Vicky for permission, but I'm a grown-up, I think I'm okay. And I'm going to hit it with a couple different objects. I hope you can see. First, I got this teaspoon. Let's see what this sounds like. I don't know, do you like that sound? It's a little uh, violent. Here I have a wooden spoon. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, I like that sound better. And just to see how it sounds, I picked up one of these rubber uh, scraper things, a spatula. Let's see what that sounds like. Can you hear that, boys and girls? That's awfully soft. Now, if I want to change the pitch of my glass, I'm going to go back to the wooden spoon. If I want to change the pitch of my glass, I can take some liquid and pour it in. Listen to the sound change while I pour in the liquid. Let's let the bubble settle. Do you hear how much higher that sound is? Now, boys and girls, in this project, I want you to build an instrument that can play me at least three notes. And uh, your three notes are going to need to be high, medium, and low. So I went into the uh, pots and pans cabinet no, I didn't ask Vicky for permission for these either, but I got some lids so we can practice with. So I have a little tiny lid, and I have a medium-sized lid, 
And I have a very big lid. Let's start with that one. Now, the reason I got the spatula out is I think it makes a really neat sound when I use the spatula on the edge. Here we go. Can you hear that? Now, if you're having trouble getting the sound, you could do what we do with a cymbal in the orchestra, and you could prime it. What that means is you start hitting the instrument lightly, and then you build up. Isn't that a nice, pretty low sound, boys and girls? Here is the medium-sized lid. I really like the way that rings. And of course, the little tiny lid. This is our green bean lid. We, we seem to only make green beans in this pot. Here we go. Boy, that rings really well. Now, boys and girls, when you're playing your lid, you don't want to hold the metal because, listen, then it won't vibrate. All you get is a thud. We want a musical tone. Now, in the comment section, in the description for this lesson, there is a, a rubric, a musical instrument project uh, document. Pretty much we've covered most of it. Let, let me make sure. So, be creative. Have fun. Talk to your family about this. Make up a crazy musical instrument. Think Dr. Zeus, a floozle or a wumpet. Have fun. Find a, uh, a uh, wrapping paper tube and put holes in it and see if you can make different sounds with that. Experiment with large and small, loud and soft. Your instrument, to get full credit, needs to be able to play at least three notes. It needs to be able to play loudly and softly. It needs to be safe, boys and girls. No electricity, no sharp edges. If there's sharp edges, please cover it up with masking tape or duct tape. I want you to not only create your instrument, but please draw me a labeled picture of your instrument so that if we were going to ask somebody else to recreate your instrument, we could say, oh, I took a clothes hanger and I bent it this way so I could hang three pot lids from it. And I want you to label pot lids and hanger. And I'm going to play it with my rubber spatula or with my wooden spoon. Please choose what family of instrument you would like your instrument to be included in. Is it a brass? Like if you're a a fourth or fifth grader and you're playing a saxophone or a clarinet or a trumpet and you have that mouthpiece, try putting that mouthpiece on something else. Cut off the top of a, a, a plastic Coke bottle or again, that wrapping paper tube and, and see if you can change the sound. That would be pretty exciting. So all parts must be labeled in your drawing. Detail what each piece is made out of and choose the family. The second thing is I'm going to be putting a flip grid link so that you can show me your picture, explain your diagram, what family of instrument your instrument is in, and then finally we're going to play that instrument. Now I have for you the notes written out for Mary Had a Little Lamb, and it's just like we practice in class. B A G A B B B. A, 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 B, 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 A, G, A, B, 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 A, A, B, A, G. And I'm hoping that when your instrument is done playing at least three notes, pardon me, you will be able to play me something that resembles first the rhythm for Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's all ta's and ta's and the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Just three things, boys and girls, and we're done with this video segment. Please have fun. If you make two instruments and your family member and you play it together on your Flipgrid, that would be super fantastic. Or if you got an instrument and you made it and you're playing and your family member sings with you and you accompany them, again, super fantastic. 
have fun. Make a whole family of instruments if you have time. The second thing, boys and girls, is please make sure that you can play at least three notes and that your instrument can play loudly and softly. And the last thing, make sure you watch this video to the end so that you know that you need to do a flip grid. Just making an instrument or sending me a picture or saying that you're done is not enough. This is a 200 point assignment. It takes up the next two weeks. Make sure you read this document on building the instrument and watch the video all the way to the end. Have a super fantastic day. Bye.